No more scarf on the rod. Hello, friends, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel, Elena, today. Happy Maha Shastri. Today is officially day one of Durga Puja, and I am so excited to take you guys along with me today. So I am here in Rishra with my mother-in-law at my husband's ancestral home, and we have decided to stay here for a couple of days to celebrate Durga Puja before going back to the city and checking everything out there. So I am gonna go along and I'm gonna follow my mother-in-law around the next two days and kind of record some of the rituals that are going on and get a deep dive into what we do during today. So this is my first outfit of the week. I did have my mother-in-law help me put this sari on. It has been a little too long since I practiced, since I've not had to wear it. So this is it. My mother-in-law got this for me as a gift. It's very comfortable, very beautiful. Just love it, love the backside. I'm wearing a simple, nice red necklace with some simple gold earrings. And I just love it, some red lipstick. Of course, I have my Bendy and my Cinder on. You can't see because of the bangs, but that's okay. So uh, we did end up going to bed pretty late last night. So I'm a little tired this morning. It's about 7 a.m. Uh, Mother-in-law is still finishing getting ready. So as soon as she's done, we're gonna head on out. And like I said, I'll try to get as much as I can and show you what today is all about. Let's get the day started. Is this offering the fruit to the idols? Yes. Or Ma Durga? Okay, so he's about to do this. Yes, if you were to give the fruit and give the name and the money. I go there and help them out. Yes. So is this to get the like food preparations or what is yes, this? Yes, and the uh, too many. I so he's just preparing to do the puja. Yes. Get the oil. For this puja. Yes. What is his first puja called? What? What's what his first puja called? What, what is it called? The puja. Today's puja called Shosti 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 puja. Alright guys, so we basically just moved everything over there to the stage. Just wanted to show you real fast what our puja looks like here in Russia. This is the outside. We have a nice little chandelier there. Another big chandelier there. Sure looks beautiful at night. And of course our goddess Durga. And then all the ladies are there putting everything together. And now he's just setting up for the puja. Hmm? Umbra. I mean, our face. What is it? I'm going to put it in the face. Yeah, there's some of there, then you can arrange. Right, right. Yesterday, but uh, 
So this is what they're going to do all the offerings is to this pot. Bank and Patal Bullish. Tapuna, I want to go to the country. So, how many times is he wrapping it around? Three times? Day or morning rituals complete. 
Uh, and uh, this is the our picture. Yes, I took a picture. I mean, I took a couple photos. I took lots of videos. So yeah. um, I do want to say that it's called Push Panjali. Do I say yeah. that right? Which is the folded hands with flowers. Yeah. Um, so you do that like three times and you have a chant that you say, but this is really fun. It's really nice. There's lots of uh, drums that they play. And do they do this only once in the morning, every morning? Yes. And do we do it in the evening time as well, Ma? Yes. Okay. No, not evening day. Not Just evening? one day, morning day. Okay, so what do we do this evening? What's going on later That's today? That's puja and arti, but not pushpan. Hey, Bajgulek to Shara, I'm going to buy the Arti, I think we have one more event tonight. Um, but that's it for this morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I tried to get as much as I could, but I didn't want to be too rude. So, um, all right, I'll see you guys a little later today. Which one's mine, Ma? This one's one's yours. Okay. Look who's here. My brother-in-law. Jerodeep. <laughs> so happy, happy you did the puja. You guys were gonna have a good week, right? Yeah. <laughs> they don't like being on camera, sorry. I just had to get them a little bit. So we're gonna have our chai now, relax, have some lunch, and then go out later. You guys gonna go out later tonight with us, with me, maybe? Maybe, but I'll definitely go out. All right guys, so it is lunch time now. Super tired, got into some comfy clothes. So after lunch, I'm probably gonna be taking a good long nap, but I'm gonna show you what all we have today. Here we got some delicious fried rice. We got some fried pakora. And Ma is getting some chicken, some fried chicken, not fried chicken, chicken curry. Lunch is delicious. Oh, no, cute. I think you're really done. You're sending it to our home. You're going to us. Wow, great. So, a couple weeks ago, I ordered a green, and we thought we want to get it until after the puja, but it's not, and they're going to come and deliver it today in a couple hours. So, I'm excited to show you guys that. But I'm going to finish this and then talk to you guys a little later. Alright guys, so I just woke up from my nap. A very much needed nap but I really want to show you guys some of the sweets that I got today so I totally forgot to bring my camera out with me earlier today and I'm bummed about that but that's okay um, but no puja is complete without delicious sweets so we went to a place called Felu Modoc so it's a very famous sweet shop here in West Bengal or in Kolkata for sure and some of these sweets I definitely know the names of and some of them I don't so of course traditional classic misty doi uh, love their misty doi here it's at one of my absolute favorites I also we also got some baked rasgola I love baked rasgola I've actually tried one already so good, so delicious. This was something that's new that I'm excited to try. Honestly, not for sure what it's called, but looks delicious. Then, let's see. Yes, these I've had before. These are very good. These are like chocolate covered sweets are just you have the mango flavored and then you have regular chocolate flavored. I did I have had these before which are very delicious. Then I also have had these before. These are also more sweets. We have chocolate, so this is a chocolate kind and then also mango. So inside it's like a little liquid. So good. And then these are new. I don't know. They suggested me to try it, so I thought I'd try it with you guys. They said that these are made out of coconut. Sorry, guys. I don't know the name of these sweets, uh, but we're still going to try it out, right? <laughs> so this is something new, something different. So let's try it. 
doesn't really have a smell to it, so I'm excited. Let's see. Mmm. Very thick. Mm, if you like coconut, you will love these treats. It kind of has a taste of the traditional Bengali sweet, and it's really hard for me to explain what that is because it's a unique flavor. I, I don't. I, it's hard for me to explain, but add with a lot of coconut. But I love coconut, so this actually, like, you get more of the coconut flavor at the end. Wow, this is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. And then also, just just recently, my ring came in. So this is the ring that I picked out. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. We did have to, you know, it took a few weeks or a month to get fixed because we had to add more gold since my finger was a lot bigger than what they originally, what this originally came in. But it's so beautiful and it's perfect. Perfect for the poojas. Yay, so. We, it's, uh, I'm gonna wait till everyone else get up and then I think we're gonna get ready for the evening puja. All right guys, so I am ready for the evening puja. This is my outfit. So, it's very beautiful, very gorgeous. Uh, my mother-in-law got me this beautiful necklace last year, but this is the first time I've had an opportunity to actually wear it with some beautiful earrings, so. Hair's a little bit off, it's very humid and hot today, but I'm excited to show you guys the evening puja. What's the back story? <laughs> what is it? Tell me. Uh, Suro, uh, she was the most demon okay. who was attacking all the time the goddess, all gods and goddesses of Hindu gods. Right, right. All the time they are uh, yeah, always attacking the heaven. Okay. And to protect the heaven, all the gods and goddesses make a decision. The somebody should be like that so that they can kill. They can destroy the yeah, demon. Yeah, destroy the demon. Okay. But how it is possible? Right, After right. After a long mercy for de dedication, all the gods and goddesses. And she's the one who kills the yes. demon. And she has been given by all the god and goddesses individual weapons. For like each, her, so each arm, right, okay. Individual, you can see all the ten hands yeah. and a lot of uh, weapons. Yes, yes. Like that, actually she has... And in Bengal, we have women-centric goddesses, okay? Yeah. So Durga is the biggest... That's why a lot of... It, she's yeah. the biggest goddess right. here, yeah, okay. Yeah. And that is why in Hindu uh, mythology, Goddess Durga is our most powerful. Okay, uh, so that's why it's a pretty big. Even the demon cannot uh, overpower her. Overpower. Right, she destroyed him, she, right? He killed him. Right, and she. Then only peace came into him. Okay, okay. Hi 
guys, that'll do it for today's video. Day one of my Durga Puja vlogs is complete. I hope you guys stick around with me the next couple of days as I go along celebrating this amazing, awesome festival. But if you like this video, guys, then please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!